Hi, my name is Daniel Groverson and in this video I'll cover some of the basics uh, configuration that I'll do in Optimize Press uh, before I get started. So if you want more of these videos go to appmembersite.com slash free and get even more of these uh, videos about what you can do with uh, membership sites and how easy it is to create them. Um, before we get started, make sure if you have Optimized Press installed, and if not, go f uh, through this link and I'll get a small affiliate commission from your purchase. But let me show you what I would normally set up after I have installed uh, Optimized Press. I'll just find the right window here. So I have the front page of the app at the moment here. Uh, hey, my name is Daniel Guerrero and, and the creator of want that to play. So the the logo we don't use that. Uh, the header obviously I need to, to get change the header uh, as well you, you get something back from from a developer and then you need to to update that and you need to update the I'll just find the right one here show sure. you mm, pi oh, images and because this is auto playing we don't want that that's a bit annoying when you're doing testing, so that's in video <laughs> and auto play, disable that one. View page. So now we can see what it looks like. We don't have that one updated yet. Uh, logo, I'm um, using that Facebook app ID, we have that. Here I'll just put pi calls dot com in the copyright. In here I do have a affiliate link I'd normally put in uh, for this. And display power by text is okay. And what kind of pages do I want to have included in the the footer? And that's not anyone and footer disclaimer. Uh, Fav icon UL. If I have created that one, I would put that up. Uh, tracking header for Google Analytics, and that's quite important so you can see how many people are logging into the site. Google Analytics. Yes, I'll be signing in using Danish account. Sign in. Hopefully, uh, so here's all my, my current tracking and I do have an online area here. So I want to add a new uh, New part, I guess it's an admin, a new account, PI calls. Reporting time, I'll use the Danish. And that's just it. I do accept this. Then we can just copy this one. Uh, subdomains, it's... Multi-level... Okay. 
uh, display advertisers and porn and custom so something like this and then I just take this and put it into here custom tracking code so now whenever someone is using the, the page that is not logged in as an administrator it will show up in, in Google Analytics and then I can uh, save here and then I can s see in, in my uh, social setting of this properties then in my standard reporting I can then select this Maybe it just needs to time to be updated. Or you can see it here. So here we have it. Obviously no visitors yet. Hopefully that will change really soon when we start getting some traffic on it. So that was uh, how I would set the general settings up. Uh, obviously we need to create some of the the other affiliates and disclaimer information here uh, membership uh, that would be be setting up separately so that's what i've normally set up in uh, uh, optimize press to get it uh, working and save changes So that was it, just a few information and we are good to go. So thanks.